Thanks for watching, everybody. This is Be Better Golf, and we're continuing our series here with Monty Scheinblum, guy who won the 1992 World Long Drive Championship and is a great golfer in his own right, beyond just hitting it far, and still can hit it far, and, uh, and a great golf coach, travels all over the world uh, teaching different uh, golfers and has a great website about it. We'll talk about that stuff later. But Monty, they track the different things in golf that really correlate to how good you are at golf. So if we see like club head speed, and we see like the plus handicaps are the fastest, then the scratch are, are slower than them, then the five handicap is slower than them. It's like, it correlates almost exactly. All things being equal, faster is better. What I wanted to ask you is, if we had impact tape on uh, a driver, like all the different clubs, what, is, would, what would the correlation be between spread of where you hit it on the face and handicap? Would it be like, would it be lined up how? Oh, even it, more than even a bigger core, because yeah. you'll see some guys that can move it mm -hmm. and they're not very good. OK. OK. You'll see some guys that are really good golfers that bunt it out there. Yeah. OK. They're they're the exception rather than the rule, but you see it fairly often. Right. You get a plus handicapper. He's hitting in the middle of the face. Right. You got a 25 handicapper. It's all over the place. Right. That that is. So from 25 going to plus into pro. It, the the s spread of where they're hitting it on the face is getting tighter Small, and tighter and tighter. tighter. Oh, yeah. Quite nearly. Uh, I mean, I don't see many 18 handicappers who flush it in the middle of the face all the time. Oh, it's just the, uh, they have other problems. Right. No, it's like, now, uh, the, yeah. the, the mythical 15 handicap great ball striker who can't putt, I've never seen one of those <laughs> right. guys. Right. And then you're not going to... Now, th they're, they're, like you'll see Dustin Johnson's wedge, and he'll, he'll have a lot of strikes out on the toe. Mm -hmm. He's doing that on purpose right. to bring in a softer, you know, okay. a, a different kind of ball flight. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, but, the fa but the famous Tom Kite wedge from Pebble Beach, it was like really, I tried size. to put up a, a, yeah. a picture yeah. of it, but yeah. So it's a one, it's, it is as close to a one-to-one -one correlation as you're going to find. Okay, so we know that if a golfer watching Be Better Golf videos, watching Monty Scheinblum videos, can get themselves to do something that will get their spread, I'm not talking about like 50% better, I'm talking about like 1% better a day or maybe like 10% better, you know, over the course of two months. What is a drill or a thought process or something? It might even be just like something you do in your routine that can get us to tighten our spread on the face a little bit. Okay. So, and, and the evidence can be seen at every range in the world. Okay. Okay. And the opposite is seen at all the tour ranges. Okay. You can, if you want to learn how to become a better golfer, there's a really good way to do it. Go to a PGA Tour event I, uh, late on Friday afternoon, okay? The guys that, most of the guys hitting balls on late Friday afternoon just missed the cut. So they didn't play very well. And you're not going to see them out there like most amateurs going, well, if I can learn to hit driver, I can hit anything. Yeah, that's good luck with that. Okay. The easiest way you've got to understand and not only can most golfers not do this, like hit it in the middle of the face, they can't do what I'm about to say, is just take out a seven iron and hit it 80 yards, just going from here to here and learning the path of the club from here to here that hits the ball in the middle of the club face. Doesn't matter how far the ball goes, doesn't matter if it goes left or right, you're learning where that is, the middle of the club face. Okay, okay? so I'm gonna get my you can adjust it for us. I'm going to get my eight iron. So you're right, that's that, fine. Yeah. Seven, eight uh, iron. Some, and I'll say, I'll say to people, okay, hit this ball like 80 yards. Just go from waist high to waist high, and I'll see this. Yeah. Okay. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Just go to right here and hit the ball 80 yards. Okay. <laughs> I see that all day long. Yeah. It is a skill. And yeah. I say, okay, look. You're on the front of a green. You're hitting a little bump and run to the back of the green with your seven iron. And I see that all day long. It is a skill that most golfers don't have and they need to build. Because let's be honest, if you can't hit the sweet spot from here, you've got serious issues in your swing right. that are not gonna match up from up here. Okay. Okay. So just it, okay, getting up there and just going waist high to waist high where the ball goes has no, no 
other than you, you don't want it to go too far. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Where and the ball goes. you're yeah. just trying to hit the middle of the club face. Okay. So if there's spray on here and foot spray or whatever, they sell it at the dollar store and spray it on the club. You can check yep. it. But exactly right. Okay. And I see exactly zero it's amateurs. Five yards. So right. Success. I okay. see exactly zero amateurs doing this. Okay. And especially you, th you think on f Fridays at a tour event, you see, you see guys doing this? Not quite. With, no, no. Okay. These are higher skill level players. Uh -huh. They're doing more like, um, but they could, if you asked them. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But what they're doing on the range is a little bit longer version of this. But since ah, amateurs see. can't, they're going yeah. like left arm parallel, yeah, do, the yeah, right arm parallel, yeah. hitting their seven iron 130 yards. Mm -hmm. and you always see the caddy like holding the club here okay. so that they don't go too long, right? And then this, yeah. is, this is also how you implement swing changes. I'll try another one. Yeah, exactly right. Because okay. if you can't hit the middle of the club face doing that, You've got issues in your swing that okay. you need to resolve. And so I was talking about you, we see the caddy sometimes like holding. Yep. And you're talking about swing changes. So like for me right now, I have a tendency to go like this a little bit. I mean, I don't do it that badly. I'm a decent golfer, but I have a tendency to go like this a little bit. Mm -hmm. So all I'm working on is okay. trying to go here a little bit more. Right. So I'm just sitting, you know, when I go to the range and practice, this is a seven iron and I'm just like, okay. So that ball went a hundred yards and now, I accomplished what I was trying. Now, I, pu I just, pushed it, who cares? Yeah. You know? So uh, um, I think because I'm standing here, cause mine were pushes too, I think we're a little that ways on the track. Eh. Too. Um, so hit one full for a second, Monty. Just because I want to. Well, it's not going to be full because I'll, yeah, yeah, right, I'll, right. I'll make a big swing yeah, at it. Yeah, like. Good. So you're saying at, at the swing speed you just did, there's no learning really going on. No, because you can't so feel it. That was at, uh, where's the club head speed there? 75. My normal, okay. my, my normal seven iron club head speed is like mid to high 90s. Okay. Okay. So you're saying at that high club head speed, there's no feel, learning. No, you can't feel what you're doing. So it's like if playing the piano, uh, trying to learn a song, you wouldn't like just try to jam. Dun, 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 you dun, learn dun, no. You go. No. Yeah. Um, Hot cross buns. Real you know slow. exactly yeah. right. So so the, and the other thing is, and this is something that that I don't want to say nobody understands this, but nobody talks about it, is your current golf swing is your version of what you think is going to hit the ball the longest and the straightest. Power. Yeah. Your idea of power. Your idea yeah. of power. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if you're trying to make a change, you're obviously aware that you're not doing it right. The second you pull out your driver, you're going to go to your old pattern because that's how you know how to create speed. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. But if you're just going from here to here, you're, you're not trying to create speed. So your body doesn't care what you do. It'll let you do whatever you want. So, so here's a perfect example. If I wanted to swing this seven iron at, let's say 95 miles an hour, 98 Max, miles an hour, yeah, yeah, hit right. it 185, 190, <laughs> right. whatever, whatever. Yeah. Nowhere, so obviously I don't want to swing like this, but no, this is just to now, prove yeah. a point. Nowhere would I be able to go in, out, and loop it back and go like this. I, I wouldn't be able, my brain wouldn't let me do it. Right. But let's say hypothetically, that's the way I wanted to swing at slow speed. I can produce that motion really easy. Okay. So that's just an extreme example. When you're swinging slower and shorter, mm -hmm. your brain, for lack of a better way of putting it, gives you permission to move differently. So we're flushing it pretty good. We've, you know, it's taken a while. We've gotten to the point where I mean, I think the best thing you can do actually when you're doing this is put something out on the range that you're trying to hit. Sometimes we'll have those targets. Those target nets, may, yeah. May, or, yeah, or like, or like a big aluminum disc and sounds great when you actually hit it on the right. fly, you know. But no, no, I'm gonna interrupt yeah. just for a second. Those things are great yeah. and somehow they knew where to put them, but then people are out there trying to nuke L wedge to that yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, right. Or trying to like hit a thin screaming, like a, a, a three iron yeah, or something. Yeah, 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 exactly right. Yeah, but not these soft seven irons. But right. Uh, so, so it, going to something physical is really big. We're, we're doing it and we're actually hitting it sometimes and, and we're feeling in sequence. But then we pull out driver 
And even like I've noticed this, like you have a good range session, your smooth range session, first three holes, like you're kind of hitting driver like with low effort and it's going far. But then like you hit one uh, like a little off or somebody outdrives you and you're annoyed and you try to hit it harder. And then like the sequence is destroyed. So how do we get correct sequenced power when we actually want to hit it hard? Um, no one wants to hear this. It's time. Oh, okay. Okay. You sit there and you get the proper movements down mm -hmm. day in, day out, day in, day out. Because the second you go to driver, you're going to revert back to the, to the default pattern. Mm -hmm. The goal is, is to default back less and less every day. Okay. But that's why practicing with driver is not only useless, it's harmful. Okay. Because you're going to go back to what, well, I know how to create speed by doing this. And that's what, this is what you're trying to get rid of.